Alhamdulillah, 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 Rabbil Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Namadu Allah ta'ala wa nastafiru wa shadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lah. Shadu anna Sayyidina Muhammadin abduhu wa habibuhu wa rasuluh. Sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ajwaji wa sabi tabi khulafa rashidin mahadin. Min ba'di wa zimmati ala tahakik. خصوصا من علامته لا فرس لا تحقيق عمر المؤمنين حضرت ابو بكر عمر عثمان وعلي ولا بك الصبات تبين رضوان الله تعالى عليهم اجمعين يا ايها المؤمنون الحاضرون اتقوا الله تعالى وتوكلوا ان الله هو الذي نتقوا الذين هم محسنون الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على اشرف الانبياء والمرسلين سيدنا مولانا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين all praises are due to Allah, Lord of the universes. All praises are due to Allah who is the first, the last, the manifest, the hidden, the one who has might and power over all things. And all praises are due to Allah who sent his Habib, Sayyidina Muhammad as the mercy to the universes. And may all peace and blessings be upon the Sultan of the Messengers, the Imam of the Prophets the master of the first and the last, the grandfather of Hassan and Hussein, Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad wasalam, and upon his noble family and blessed companions, especially upon the four Khulafa Rashidin, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, Hazrat Umar Farooq, Hazrat Usman Al-Ghani, and Hazrat Ali Al-Murtaza, and all those who follow them until the last day. Ya ayuhal mu'minun, O believers, welcome to you on this Yamul Juma, which is falling on the day of Eid al-Fitr. Alhamdulillah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us these two blessings on one day. That we have greeted our Bayram day on the Sultan of the days. Inshallah, in this day we are hoping for the mercy and the pleasure of our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. O believers, today is a blessed and a very tremendous day. The Holy Prophet is saying, Allah created the garden of paradise on the day of breaking fast. He planted the tree of bliss on the day of breaking fast. He chose the archangel Jibrail as the messenger of revelation on the day of breaking fast. And the sorcerers found forgiveness on the day of breaking fast. And the Holy Prophet والسلام, is describing the heavenly activities that happen on this day, saying in a hadith that is narrated by Ghazul Azam, the arch intercessor, Shaykh Abdul Qadir Gilani. When the month of Ramadan is over and the night of breaking the fast has arrived, that night is called the night of prize. Then in the early morning of the day of breaking the fast, Allah will send his angels to visit all the towns and cities on the earth below. Once they have made their descent, they will position themselves at the entrances to all the streets and alleys. There in a voice that can be heard by creature except humans and the jinns, they will make an announcement saying, O community of Muhammad, come forth into the presence of a noble and generous Lord who will grant you gifts in abundance and forgive your terrible sins. Then when the believers have emerged and presented themselves at their places of prayer, Allah will say to his angels, O oh my angels, they will respond to his call by saying, La baik, ya Rabbi, here we are, O oh my Lord. And he will say to them, what is the reward, what is the recompense of the hired laborer once he has done his job the angels will reply our Allah and our master and our Lord you will pay him his wages in full so the so Allah will say I now call upon you to bear witness O my angels as a reward for their fasting and the night prayers during the month of Ramadan then he will say O my human servants put your request to me now for this I swear by my might and I swear by my majesty you will not ask me this day 
in this gathering of yours for anything connected with your life hereafter without my granting it to you nor for anything connected with your life in this lower world without my attending to your need by my might in my majesty I will surely forgive the false steps you make as long as you are consciously alert in the effort to avoid pulling my anger by my might and my majesty I will not put you to shame nor will I expose you to disgrace amongst those who are faithfully committed to observing the limits now you may depart knowing that you have been forgiven you have won my approval and I'm well pleased with you the angels will then be very happy as they welcome the good news of all that Allah will bestow upon this community when its members break the fast they have kept through the month of Ramadan. We are hoping to be from this category that is being mentioned in this holy hadith that our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with us after the month of Ramadan. As our Shaykh Saib al Saib is saying, Alhamdulillah, wa shukur Allah. Those people who kept the whole month of Ramadan, they kept their tearaway prayers, they gave their sadaqahs, they gave their zakats, yes. They should celebrate Eid. They should give everything to celebrate. They have two Eids to celebrate. One in this dunya and one in the hereafter. Those who are keeping the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the orders that are coming from Allah are coming with conditions attached. That is the orders of the Holy Prophet if we are keeping the orders of the Holy Prophet, then we are keeping the orders of our Lord Allah. Eid is the day to celebrate. Eid is the day to forgive. Eid is the day to put the differences aside, to turn back to the original road. Eid is the day that the person is separating himself, saving himself from that fire, from the threat and treatment of that fire. And Allah is granting us, saying to us, run to that. And those who are finding, yes, those who are finding space to put it, and they are running for that, they are keeping their Lord priority. And Allah keeps them priority. Oh believers, inshallah Rahman, this Eid day, we should renew our intention to make our priority to be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His holy prophet and our share. We ran to do so many good actions and to put down our egos during Ramadan. We should continue that work, inshallah. We should not let Shawal enter and run back to the way of our egos and the way of shaitan. And the Holy Prophet ﷺ is giving us an advice on how to keep the energy and passion from Ramadan, saying that we should fast the six days in the month of Shawal. He is saying, whoever completes the fasts of Ramadan then adds to them the fast of six days in the month of Shawal, it will carry the reward of fasting for the whole year. So inshallah, we make the intention to keep these six fasts so that we do not lose the good habits that were built during the Ramadan. Oh believers, we are not going to live forever. This Ramadan came and passed. So many people were here last Ramadan and they did not reach to this Ramadan. Perhaps we will not reach to the next Ramadan. We must always keep the remembrance of our death of our grave in front of us. We have work to complete and we have a limited time. As Imam al-Ghazali, Hujjat al-Islam, is saying, purifying the soul is serious. The hereafter is ahead. This world is behind. Death is near. The journey is far. And the provisions our light. O oh, believers, in this day of Eid, let us make a strong intention to prepare for this journey and to submit ourselves to the leader of the caravan. Let us make intention to live with full submission and obedience and muhabbat to our Shaykh and to pray to our Lord to reach to another Ramazan on that road. Inshallah Rahman. Astaghfirullah. 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 Lazim, lazim, la ilaha illa wa tayyukayim wa tubulayhi
La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah lahul mulku walhamdu lillahi kulli shay'in qadir. La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah lahul mulku walhamdu lillahi kulli shay'in qadir. La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah lahul mulku walhamdu lillahi kulli shay'in qadir. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka tu minaz zalimin. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka tu minaz zalimin. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka tu minaz zalimin. Subhan kudusun rabbun rabbun malaikatu wa ruh. Subhan kudusun rabbun rabbun malaikatu wa ruh. Subhan kudusun rabbun rabbun malaikatu wa ruh. Inna dina inna Allah al-Islam. Qam salah. Allah'u Ekber, 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 Allah'u Ekber,